Data appears in all areas of life. You can find it in newspapers, in magazines, journals, on the television, or on the internet. Often the data is presented in a graphical format, and sometimes predictions are made using the data. So why do we use graphs? A graph is a visual or pictorial representation of a set of data. These data can be of two distinct types, continuous or discontinuous. An example of continuous data could be temperature readings taken during the day. A person may choose to observe and record the temperature every hour, half hour or minute. But temperature is a continuous phenomenon and can be read at any instance and have any value depending on how accurately you can measure it. Suppose you wanted to record the number of people who are right-handed or left-handed in a room. Most people are one or the other, although some may be able to use both and are referred to as ambidextrous. Essentially there are three choices and each represents a distinct category. This is discontinuous data. Common graph types can be used depending on how the data is collected. These are bar, histogram, pi, line and scatter. As we will be focusing on continuous data, we will focus on scatter graphs. In order to understand scatter plots and the models that fit the data, you will need some graphing skills and some understanding of the variables and the mathematics behind the models. In particular, we look at modelling data with linear or straight line models as a starting point. 